confirmed that uh, the federal government will be putting forth $740,000 towards additional work that needs to be done with respect to uh, research looking at uh, how to handle issues of the bio biohazards, for example, uh, as well as developing uh, plans for construction uh, and so on. So this was uh, um, advised to the families yesterday and this morning we are confirming again uh, that uh, money will be going forth to support the families. What about the church? What about the church? Are you not funding the church? Well, if you look at the feasibility study, we um, uh, undertook, we, we supported the feasibility study, uh, and uh, as a result of that, uh, additional uh, issues were, uh, had to be addressed, and, and this is the next step in that process, and this is something that the Long Plain First Nations um, have been asking for. Uh, this is exactly the plan that they had sought, and we were able to uh, confirm today that that supports are available and going so forward the to the communities. What are the issues that the, the money will resolve? There, there are a number of issues, and, and our news release will, will um, uh, outline that, but particularly it will look at issues of biohazards and, and bio waste that was identified in the feasibility study. It will be looking at um, uh, additional work on, uh, on uh, uh, conveyor belt, uh, additional uh, work on potentially construction, uh, what, what is required for a search to be done. Uh, it'll be looking at uh, personnel um, costs and personnel um, requirements, uh, and it will also uh, look to work with other levels of government as well to see what uh, obstacles may exist, including um, issues around labor, inclu including uh, issues around permits for uh, search such as this to be Is this the first step, or are you willing to make further steps down the line to ensure that a search does happen? This is, in fact, the second step. If you look at what we did, we, we did support the initial uh, feasibility study. Um, uh, $500,000 uh, were given. This is an additional $740,000. Um, and as we uh, uh, go forward, we look forward to working with the, uh, with the new government-elect um, and the premier elect uh, to to see what we could do together. This is something that requires uh, the cooperation and, and and definitely the support of all levels of government, including the provincial government. So we look forward to working with them. Does a new government change the calculus? I mean, does it make a search more likely? Well, the Prime Minister will be speaking to the, the Premier-elect today, and I look forward to working with his government, uh, as well as um, others as well, to ensure that uh, all parties who need to be at the table are able to support the families as they go forward. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are part of the problem. People who kill indigenous women are correctness and balance justice? There are certainly issues of systemic racism, I think, that are uh, profound within our criminal justice system. I know uh, Mr. Varani is uh, well-versed um, in, in the different challenges uh, involving the criminal justice system. Uh, in my previous role, uh, we were able to work to address issues of systemic over-representation of Indigenous and Black Canadians uh, with the passage of C5. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of work to do, and, and, and I don't think um, the report today uh, should be shocking. It is uh, sadly part of uh, the colonial legacy that we are trying to untangle. Are there any contingencies attached to this new funding? When would you like to see this work done by? Well, this is um, the time frame we're looking at is about 90 days, and, and we uh, th this money will be rolling out uh, forthwith. Uh, and we're uh, confident that the uh, community impacted will be able to work with our officials to ensure a speedy uh, work is undertaken. So then what happens after the 90 days? Well, I think there's, there's, a, there's a window where I think we need to look at what the next steps are, and this is where we need um, all parties at the table, including the provinces. So how committed are you to, to actually funding a search, though, the $184 million that it may take? Well, I think I've been clear from the beginning. We're in it for the long haul, and we will continue to support the families. This is the, uh, n the next natural step um, in this process, and it's important that we get um, that information uh, required in order for us to assess where we go from here. And this is where I'm looking forward to the province of Manitoba being at the table. And we'll take a last the question. the federal government should put up money for the search? Do you personally think the federal government should put up money for the search? I think um, all governments um, need to be part of this process. Uh, from a federal perspective, I've been very clear uh, that we're in it for the long haul, um, and we will work with the families, uh, the community impacted, as well as um, uh, the province of Manitoba to get to the right uh, answer on this. Okay, thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you.